rocks. A lot of you that have watched me for a long time now I always share a little bit of my mushroom adventures. And it's fall mushroom season. And here we are with some coral. A lot of people call them deer antler or elkhorn mushrooms, but look how big this batch of them is here. Just freaking humongous. And I'm not supposed to eat deep fried foods anymore. Which is what I used to do is deep fry these, but well, this year I'm gonna try sauteing them because there's other fall mushrooms that I get and saute. And it's impossible to use a net sack with a lot of fall mushrooms that <laughs> just fall apart on you. So I always love the trusty Walmart sack. <clears throat> and then I always leave some so they grow back in the same spot year after year. These here are a little bit smaller, but still good picking. <laughs> oh, and they smell fresh, which these smell real woodsy like they don't taste like wood no siree all right we'll see if we can't find any other types there's like five types that i like to eat i think there's about actually maybe about 10 different types of fall mushrooms you can eat but i only i eat the deer antlers uh, a lot of people call them a bear's paw, a hedgehog, I call them a goat's beard. They're white, they grow on a dead tree, or on a dead log, or stump, or something like that. And those are actually the best mushroom for you, medicinally wise. And you have your chicken of the woods, you have your hen of the woods, your sulfur shells, your shaggy manes. And your honey mushrooms, which I know I'm going to get to pick some honeys today. Oh, I just love it when fall gets here. Finally, 50s and 70s. You can't ask for better weather. been a long long time since we've had a good fall mushroom season but good years these coral type elk horn deer antler mushrooms they'll just be everywhere out in the woods I mean I've had some years where I came home with garbage sacks pumped full of them and then a lot of times you can tell as they start to brown out like that there that they're getting old so I'll only mess with the real fresh ones like these here you can tell they're fresh and I forgot my pocket knife today when you're mushroom hunting it's always best to carry your pocket knife because I'll cut all that bottom off that way you ain't ending up with a bag full of dirt or it makes these really hard to clean I just like finding mushrooms <laughs> it's like when I find morels I'm like a little kid in a candy store and if you can find anything in life that gives you that feeling then go for it because feeling like a kid at anything when you're older getting to our age that over the hill step it's all good Woohoo! it's all good thank you great spirit for the bountiful harvest that I will share with many other disabled neighbors that can't get out at all
turtle. I did find another small little batch where some of these look like they're worth picking. You can tell these back here though. here and I lost my improvised knife because I forgot my pocket knife at home. I had a knife in a truck and I had to make a homemade sheath for it. I lost it. Well, we will pick these and enjoy these. Sometimes when you're out mushroom hunting, you put spray all over you, and you gotta have one, you don't put nothing on your ears, and you gotta have one mosquito that wants to get at your ears. <laughs> or you spot something like that way over there in the woods and wonder, now is that a bunch of leaves or is that a big mushroom? I see. Oh, that's a bunch of big corals great big part of a circle but and look how great big these got but most of them are all old I don't even know if there's any in here a guy could salvage you know I mean that's a big one dang shame all the way around all great big ones I should have came and I know to start coming to this hillside a lot sooner but all these mushrooms like these came out early I mean, our leaves are just now barely starting to turn color, and usually you don't start picking a lot until you really start seeing a lot of color in your leaves. Which other areas came out first? Boy, I got that one. Oh, booger. Mm. Well, I'm gonna see if I can cut any of these off to be edible. This looks like it may have some salvageable sides there. 